Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. In this video, under the chapter of chemistry in our lives, in the second part, that is chemistry for cleanliness, I shall explain about soap. So, you know that soap is sodium or potassium salt of higher fatty acid. So, why it is used higher words? Because the number of carbons is higher in this regard. So, you know that the sodium stearate or the potassium stearate is the chemical name of soap and the formula is like R C double O N A if caustic soda is used with oil in case of producing soap then we'll say that sodium stearate and if potassium hydroxide is used then we say that potassium stearate but before going to explain, uh, this is important to know the history a little bit about the soap because uh, around, it is assumed like 2500 years ago, the Greek and Romans, they prepared a soap uh, by boiling of ashes with hide, bones and uh, uh, fats and then after the Egyptians, uh, Egyptians they are preparing the soaps uh, with the boiling of uh, ashes with uh, fat of cows, buffaloes, even lions. So usually the, the, the preparations procedure was similar like in land of Ireland they were using lye uh, for producing soap. These lyes are actually the alkaline solutions. So what is the basic? Recently you know that uh, uh, in 1890 usually, the year of 1890 uh, the production of soap, like industrial production has begun from 1890. So we can say that from 1890 industrial, industrial production has begun. So, so as we know that for preparing soap, soap is widely used cleaning materials worldwide. So for producing soap we need sodium hydroxide, that means caustic soda. So Comparatively, the production of caustic soda is getting so much uh, important that is why it is competencies is going on for the manufacturer to produce soap worldwide. So now you see that this R is actually alkyl. alkyl. So alkyl, uh, the formula of alkyl is CnH2n plus 1 where the number of carbon is between 12 to 18. So we know that this is known as potassium or sodium, sodium stearate, okay. So the sodium stearate or the potassium stearate is known as so. Now what is the, what is the reaction? The reaction is C, CH2, double O, C, then we can say, okay, let me clear that other part because it will take more space there. So CH2 double O C and then the R alkyl. So this R can be C17H35. So again bond CH double O C. This is aster and C17H35. Again, CH2 double O C C17 H35. Now you see the part of this. So the number of carbons, this is actually the oil, the, the formula of oil, which will be added with sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Now, how you can memorize such a big uh, reaction. Think about this. This is C double O, C double O, C double O. So I wrote double O C in order to keep the C and C together. You can write C double O. But you see the last part of the alkyl that is C17H35 which is this one. So the number of N is 17. So it would be 17 times 2 is 34 plus 1 which is 35. So you know that the number of carbon is 12 to 18 so we took 17 as just an example. So C17H35 is the alkyl 
alkyl compound and this is the total formula of well so it is connected or added with caustic soda so this is caustic caustic soda now what should be the reaction important thing is that this is hydroxyl so this hydroxyl will add with this H H carbon number so if I see that there is three carbon so I can say that the this number should be three and then it will produce CH2 similar okay just keep your eyes like that CH CH2 bond and instead of this compound we can use this one OH 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 which is the formula of glycerin and again the main component will add here so you see that C17 H35 C double O three times is written here and sodium number is also three so we can write C17 H35 C double O N N and that should be three molecule and this is the sodium stearate or the soap so when we'll be producing soap the, as a byproduct glycerin will be produced so this is actually glycerin and this is sodium stearate and we call it soap and the production process of soap is known as saponification Sapony, saponification and I just forgot that the types of soap is two types that is a uh, toilet soap you can say the types of soap is uh, two types which is a uh, toilet toilet soap and laundry soap actually the main division has been done uh, as because the toilet soap is usually for cleaning our skin skin this is important skin and the laundry soap is usually used for, for cleaning our clothes so there are the differences so the toilet soap will be used for the cleaning our skin and the laundry soap will be used for our clothes so now you see a very short description about the soap and this is I'm making this videos very shorter because I'm trying to explain things based on the content not on the chapter so those are watching right now my tutorial you may have expectations that uh, well I should I should explain things based on the chapters well I'll do it but before going to explain I need to uh, deliver these uh, videos based on the topic because in the next tutorial I shall explain about detergent and the process of cleaning of the detergent and soap and there is a differences between soap and detergent so very simply we know the definition of soap is that the sodium or potassium salt of higher fatty acid and the formula of soap is like that this R is alkyl and alkyl formula is CnH2n plus 1 so the number of carbon and the number of hydrogen would be twice plus 1 so I took carbon number 17 so hydrogen would be 35 so I use this because this is the formula of well so you are, you are adding well and caustic soda so the process of doing it is a saponification and I should I, I am really really sure that you can remember the big reactions I hope you'll have no problem memorizing these reactions you just need to understand what I did I just eliminated this part and add three hydroxyl there which is the reaction uh, the formula for glycerin and then three molecule of sodium is added with this the rest of the part to produce soap so this is a very short explanation about soap and I'm coming with the next video about detergent the process of preparation and the function of detergent and the process of uh, cleaning about soap and detergent so see you in the next class take care stay well